Welcome back to TJ's Farm and Fitness. Today, I'm going to be planning my food plot, but before I do, I'm going to show you what exactly I used to prepare, prepare the soil bed uh, for the seeds. So I, I have my Kawasaki Transmule in the back, the 4010, and I also have the Colpin three-point hitch. And you can attach various implements to the three-point hitch, just like you could with a, a tractor's three-point hitch. And I had some questions in my last video on uh, exactly how that works. So I'm going to take you step by step through as I attach each of the implements and the hitch and let you see how everything fits on and then how it works back in the food plot. So the first step is putting the three point hitch in your regular receiver hitch. So you can see right there, I remove my a ball hitch and I put this three point system in there. Now, it has down pressure through this electric cylinder here. And you can imagine uh, there's a lot of implements on the market for ATVs and side-by-sides. And if you read the reviews, they'll say they can bend your hitch down there on the frame. So there is a support that goes with the implement. And I had a bracket welded on right there above the muffler. So that's gonna connect from there to the three-point hitch right there, I believe. I'll show you when I get it hooked up. So that's how it goes on. It's attached in two places, essentially, uh, once you put the support bracket on. So now you can see I have the support bracket on. You look right above the muffler there, and then it's connected to the three-point hitch itself. So that gives the support to the three-point hitch so that when there's down pressure, uh, nothing gets bent. I will admit I was skeptical at first when I got this. I did have a tractor before, and you know, three-point hitch on a tractor, they're just uh, much larger. But this system, it's built good. It's not rinky-dink, it's built good. And it's worked good for me. Uh, I bought this used off of Craigslist, and it's it's really done a great job. It has everything that a regular three-point hitch would have. So I'll continue to add to it and show you what I put on here next. So the next section I added is this bar. And this is what the various implements attach to. I'm going to be putting a disc on it right now my goal isn't to really like till up or disc a lot i do the no till method for the most part but i did throw some chicken manure and some goat manure from my compost pile on my plot i just want to break that up a little bit before i plant and i've sprayed various times throughout the year the last time i sprayed was a week ago so everything out there will be dead except for the perimeter where i planted some switch grass so what i did here i put the the bar on that the uh, disc will slide onto and then just like a tractor you know it has this that attaches the bar and then same way you would attach any implement in the tractor it's the same thing here on both sides give you a different view here so there's a three-point hitch and then whatever implement you're using just attaches to the three-point hitch exactly like you would if you had a tractor. You can see the disc over there. At the top of the screen, I'm going to be sliding those on next. So now what I've done, I've slid these discs on. You just slide them on the bar right here. And then you get them into position and you tighten this bolt down. And you can play with the pos position a little bit. But... That's roughly where they're gonna be. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the down pressure that it has, and it's not as powerful as a hydraulic cylinder. It's just electric, but it's enough that it'll put a lot of pressure if you're using the cultipacker, which I have for it, or the disc. It'll put a lot of pressure, uh, at least enough to get the job done. You'll be able to see the back tires, um, or the suspension will kind of come up as the weight of the disc presses into the ground. Okay, keep going. So as she moves it down, watch the suspension. 
You can see it starting to pick up there. Good. Stop. So that's plenty enough to get the job done and uh, work the dirt. Go ahead and lift it back up again. All the way. So it's slower than hydraulics, but it works very nice. And there's a clutch where you can't can't over raise or lower it too much it'll stop so that's how everything goes on and that's the down pressure i'll show you how it works out in the food plot so i'm out here in the plot this perimeter here should be switch grass it was a little difficult for for me to get it started but i think it's coming along good i just mowed it and i'll show you the rest of the plot here And all I'm going to be doing today is roughing up the soil, roughing up the seed bed a little bit, and then I'll put the seed on and call it to pack it. If you look down, you can see there's some thatch from my winter rye that I killed in the spring. And then any weed you see uh, that was sprayed, that'll be dead here shortly. And there's places where I did put some stuff. Uh, various stuff from my compost pile like chicken manure goat manure and i just want to break this stuff up a little bit so that's the purpose i'm not trying to get it like a, a farmer would with this disc i'm just trying to break everything up a little bit and have a little bit better seed to soil contact so i'll show you how it works as i go okay so i just took my first two passes i just stopped to look at everything make sure all the connections were still good so here's what you get with a couple passes it works really really well I'm impressed you can see definitely just getting the top couple inches uh, mixed up a little bit it's not gonna go super deep but um, I'm into the no-till method for the most part I just like to rough up the surface so it's doing really well and I'll show you a little bit of video of me actually doing it and the final product when it's done. So I mentioned I stopped to check everything after two passes and it's a good thing I did because I forgot to attach those two bolts that I showed you that secures the disc onto the bar. So just walked back to the house, got my bucket that has all the right uh, wrenches in it. I'm coming back to tighten those bolts down. As you can see, they both went in towards the center. Now they're almost touching. So I'll lift it back up, move them out where they should be, and tighten those bolts down. Okay, I spent about a half an hour and um, I think this is about it. Didn't want to get it real deep. Hopefully I didn't uh, create more weeds by digging up some old weed seeds. But basically I just wanted to get this thatch worked up a little bit. As you can see, did a pretty good job. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some of my seed. And I'll throw that down and then I'll call the pack. Okay, so here's the call to packer on the back of it. I just finished up. As you can see, the disc just slide off and then you can um, put whatever attachment you have and slide it on that bar. Or you could have multiple bars and keep them on. So I just finished up. It did a very nice job. It's not perfect. It's not like a farm field, but it's going to work just fine. Uh, you can see the thatch was worked up a little bit spread out some much better seed to soil contact and i can still see some of my larger seeds on the ground that's okay the rain will come in here and it'll get a good germination but that's how it looks right now and we'll have to come back in a couple weeks and see how it turned out if you're wondering what i put on here on half of the food plot I put a brassica blend from Northwoods Whitetail and the other half I put a mixture of uh, peas beans and oats and then that same side will get top dressed with 
winter rye multiple times throughout the year. So I'll bring it back when it's growing up a little more and see what you think.